Before I present the dedicated teacher award, I'd just like to take a, a couple minutes and say a few words. Actually, what I'd like to do is to give you your last lesson still as a student at Shiloh High School. Now, I was a social studies teacher, and I enjoyed history. So I'd like to talk just a bit about history. And one man in particular, Winston Churchill, hopefully you know the name and recognize the name, Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of Great Britain during the World War II era and also in the early 50s. He led by a, a stubborn type of leadership. And he's known today as one of the most important people of the 20th century. Now, in 1953, when he was still the Prime Minister, he just received the Nobel Prize. And he was invited by Oxford University to give the commencement address. This was a big deal. Oxford was a very prestigious university, one of the best in the world, just north of London. And here you are going to have the Prime Minister give the commencement address. I think you have to, to imagine this a little bit. Imagine four times as many people as what we have here. Imagine the press, newspaper reporters, there with their pads, ready to write down every word that was said. Radio stations were there with their microphones, ready to record everything. <laughs> Television was there to record everything. They wanted to hear this, this great man speak and to be able to see him. He was near 80 years old. So they introduced him, and he slowly made his way to the podium. He walked with a cane, he wore a top hat, he had a cigar in his mouth, and he came up to the podium, took his top hat off, took the cigar out of his mouth, and he leaned against the podium and just stared at the graduates. Just stared. And I'm sure it seemed like forever, but you could have heard a pin drop. Nothing was said. And then finally he spoke. And he said, don't ever quit. And then he stared again. That's all he did, he stared, trying to make eye contact with every one of the graduates that he could. And again, he said the three same words that he just mentioned a couple minutes ago. Don't ever quit. And that was it. He grabbed his top hat, put a cigar back in his mouth, and went back and sat down. That was it. This moment that everyone was waiting for was, was done, and it was, it was three simple words. I'm sure people were disappointed, but if you think about it, those three words say everything you need to do. See, Winston Churchill believed that there were two main attributes that define your success. Those two attributes were ability and determination. And you can divide those into four different sections, and I want you to think about this. I want you to think to yourself, which one of these are you? Are you a person with high ability, high determination? If that's you, congratulations, you're going to be successful. The odds are, no matter what you do, you're going to find success. Now on the other end of the spectrum, you've got people who have low ability and low determination. If that's you, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a struggle. Something is going to have to change. And then in the middle, you have people with high ability but low determination. Is that you? You have all the skills, but you don't use them. You don't apply yourself. If that's you, again, it's going to be a struggle. And then the category that Winston Churchill thought he was in 
was the category of low ability and high determination. And if that's you, the odds are again, you're going to find success because you, you don't give up. Like he said, don't ever quit. That's what it comes down to. Three simple words that say everything. Don't ever quit. Now I think it's easy enough to remember those three words, and I hope you do, and I hope you also live by them. Don't ever quit. And that is your final lesson. Still as a student at Shadow High School. Congratulations to the class of 2013. At this time, I have the honor and privilege of presenting the 2013 Teacher Award. Since 1982, a Shawano teacher has been recognized for their strong dedication to education. The Dedicated Teacher Award is presented in memory of Dr. Richard D. Jeffries. Dr. Jeffries felt that his teachers at Shawano were very instrumental in his success and in his accomplishments. And in Dr. Jeffries' memory, the Dedicated Teacher Award has been established by his family. The purpose of the award is to show the appreciation of Dr. Jeffries and his family for the large number of dedicated teachers who are going above and beyond each and every day. This is the 32nd year of this award. The recipient will receive a plaque, honoring that selection and a check for $1,000 to show appreciation. I am very honored to present the 2013 Dr. Jeffries Dedicated Teacher Award to Mark Grams. Thank you all. Uh, uh, I want to tell a very short story. that there are three jobs that are exceptional. One of them is farmer, one of them is doctor, and one of them is teacher. All of those things people do on their own. Food will grow on its own, it will get well on their own, your kids will learn on their own. But, but, they do better with the help dedicated. I know I've got a lot of colleagues out there who are, are, are much more dedicated than me. But there's a reason why I'm standing here you're sitting right here. You know the reason I'm up here. Thank you all. I appreciate it.